Okay, so what I'm planning on doing today is fixing this gap. Now looking at the angles, um, what I'm planning on doing is cutting it, cutting it right here, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna bolt it up and see how much of a delta there is and I bought a um or ordered a um like a connector piece that's three inches long and I think that's enough of a gap but it's going to be slightly down I believe and so I'm going to try to bend this after I cut it <clears throat> heat it up and bend it just just enough so um that's the plan Okay, that actually looks pretty good. So this is all tightened up more or less. And there's just the gap. And it looks like it's more or less dead on. Um, I think the, um, the little connector that I got is gonna, is gonna marry that okay. Okay, so um, I'm just about ready to set up the exhaust or button it up, but I noticed that this hanger, which is right, right there, let's see if you can see that. That hanger right there was um, was uh, uh, broken, so I just installed it. And um, just like everything on this car, what seems relatively easy was extremely difficult. And honestly, I don't know how other people um, do it because, uh, like, I have extremely small, thin hands, super delicate, like almost uh, female-like, and I could barely fit my hands in there to get this thing correctly installed. And I don't expect, or I don't know how, uh, I don't know how other people do it. I mean, people have way bigger hands than I. In any case. Um, that's correctly installed, and then uh, next I'm gonna I'm gonna do this stuff. Okay, so I buttoned all this up. This is the end of the um, uh, manifold, uh, 85, 86 manifold modification. That's the manifold right there. Um, so basically all you have to do is cut right here and it, there's a gap of about two inches and you can repair it with just this or connect it with this. No welding required. <laughs> 